He was so Speaking annoying. of World War II, D Day today, right? Uh, June 6th. Yeah. June 6th is it is D Day, isn't it? Yeah, I was watching the thing where the the French people go out and rub the the uh, Normandy beach sand on all the crosses that they have at that moment. Shout memorial. out to the French. They don't get shout enough out, love. Shout out to the French. We'll be there again if you need us third time. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you can keep the enemies uh might be Russia this time. Might be Russia next time. We'll we'll be there for a third time <laughs> to bail you out if need be. Don't worry. I, I saw today that we threatened Russia if they exploded a nuke. Did you hear about this at all? Yeah, that we destroy all of their They're like just, if you if you blow up one nuke, detonate one nuke, even if there are zero casualties, we will go in there with conventional weapons and destroy everything you have in Ukraine. Every man, every piece of equipment, all of it gone. That was our threat. Yeah. It's an interesting I like, negotiation. I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I Look, say this about uh, uh, Biden, but I'm going to say lots about Biden. But lately, it just seems like he gets something done every week. Obviously, he's doing it for the election. It's like, where was this the last... Like, why aren't you always like this? Why aren't you always just? And it was the little things like ch- like lowering the maximum late fee uh, for overdraft charges. It's like no one is against that except for bankers. <laughs> like like mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the only there's there's just like the airline thing. Remember if your if your flight's canceled, you're guaranteed like a full refund on the spot. Or cash like that. on the cash. spot, you pay me back. You no don't, store you, credit, no bullshit. No, yeah, yeah. No miles. You, don't give me fucking miles. I need to get somewhere. Doesn't matter uh, if the weather's bad. Give me my money back. Yeah, um, absolutely. All that shit was good. And then I saw he's pot. Sorry, I'm going pot. On, on. No, no, you're right. And I don't mind it because it's true. Um, like, like give him credit when he does the right fucking thing or just does good things, period, that aren't even, you know, split down party lines. It's great if you can do something. Everybody's like, yeah, I don't, I don't like late fees either. But uh, I saw he, uh, he secured the border to some extent, something about de- denying asylum to X amount of people above a certain number. Until yeah, it's 2,500, which means now. Like, I guess I, I don't know exactly yeah. how they measure that 2,500, but if it's like 2,500 it's asylum spots, seekers per day. OK. All right. And which is what we are currently. So he's like, um, as of right now, no more asylum. Boom. Done. It's just a yeah. pretty good move. Did you see the right was giving him a hard time about pooping his pants today? Did you see that? I didn't know I, I, I didn't see that. Did he did he potentially poop himself? No. What happened was um, he went to sit down in a chair and he did this like pause with his knees bent that looked awkward. Mm. And he did it because he didn't want to sit down before his wife. He thought he should remain standing until she took a seat. Of course. I and it was just kind of a weird timing as he was being polite. And uh, and then once she took her seat, he did. Well, they edited the video to make it look like he bent over and purposefully pooped his pants on stage by the podium. Yeah. And then, oh, Tim Pool's running with it. All these Twitter accounts are running with it. They cut it before he sat down and before it was clear what happened. Yeah. If you watch the unedited video, it's pretty clear. He's like looking at his wife like, as soon as you sit, I get to. I don't like the disinformation. I'm not about (laughs) propaganda necessarily. Maybe sometimes unintentionally, but but like something like that, it's like, dude, there's enough to actually go after him about. Like he is an old man. Yeah, he's a senile old man. Just call him out. Here's a politician who you know he was the. I could be wrong about this. I think he was the youngest senator ever at the time he was elected senator. Yeah, and now he is the oldest president ever. He was alive during fucking D Day. Yes. Yeah. Of course he was. Yeah. So, like, all that being said, a man who has spent that much time in politics has said enough stupid falsehoods. Especially that you can just you could make a montage of them and roll it up. Do that. That's real. And, and it speaks to me whenever I hear him like bragging about his intelligence and how high he was in his class and stuff like that. And he's doing it like on in front of a big group of reporters and stuff. And then the the program cuts and it's that old school TV where you've got like Walter Cronkite or something, like a real old man news anchor who doesn't give a fuck about politics. And he's like, actually, uh, Senator Biden was not in that class. He did not take part in any of their honors programs. And he was 283rd in his class. When questioned about this further, he said he misremembered. 
<laughs> and then they just cut. To he's always guy. been senile. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, <laughs> he's if, always been a politician. So like, don't say. Look, like I mean, he might poop himself, but like, don't say it until he actually does, so that you're crying wolf yeah. about him pooping himself. Like, stop crying wolf. Like, you're right. He, he did lie about where he graduated. So did Trump, though. So that's not a great decision maker. He said he, he was at the top of his class. Yeah, he did. It was actually hmm. the. I do seem to remember version like, of the same lie. Biden within, claimed he was in like the top hat quarter or something. Something. And, yeah. Trump were, claims he's like number one in his class. You were talking and he about wasn't like top half either. You were talking about like how stinky mm. Trump's farts were like three weeks ago. That was widely reported, and you denied it. Like it I was had widely reported. It was widely reported by <laughs> by people that hate him. It was. He was sleeping and farting in court, and it was like everywhere on the that news. sounds cool that's how you should treat the judicial system just completely <laughs> <laughs> just sleep and fart yeah yeah, yeah just like, have the whole place like the jury doesn't even want to be there that like, seems like a good I, legal strategy. i've heard like play by plays of this scene where like you know like it, first he's closing his eyes you don't know if he's sleeping or not and then like his mouth drops and he gets in like a less natural position and he farted himself awake and Do you it think was like, that, like the people writing this are <laughs> yeah, like cool. are like hat oh on God. like sleuthing? The fact thing is, I, I can think, point to you like you, thirty-seven that articles like, reporting on this, and you have zero, and you're like, I choose it to think it's. I, well, I'm saying that. Th- would Probably you disagree, everybody's would, lying. About would it. you disagree that the media virulently hates him and will write stuff about? I think there's a how he needs right to hold media. how he needs to hold rails to to get through icy declines. He drinks water with both hands. Oh, the shape of his dick, p tapes. Like they will latch on to anything about this dude. And so it's just interesting to be like, no, uh, Biden. Biden definitely didn't poop himself. And then, but three weeks earlier, be like, you Trump is having super stinky farts. You want the video? I can. I I have video and like stories, and you just have guts. Gut feet. I'm with Taylor on this one. Charted? It's like, ridiculous like, to treat it as serious. Is what I'm, I'm with saying. Taylor on this one. I I thought it did look like he was like dozing off in court. Makes plenty of sense. I I didn't think that said anything about him other than he's tired. Can I um, can I jump in? I think I doze off in court too. Maybe you know I heard that the HVAC in this building is like super old and it was always either ice cold or hot. Yeah, and, I don't mind that. But just the idea that that he's everybody's like yeah he's farting yeah you smell it like, let's see it's. I genuinely think it's just a conspiracy. It, it's you think that's I, just made up. It might be. I, I think it's hundred percent made up. All I think I have it's just like, like in school when like somebody's like you know, hundreds of articles about the P tapes. You know, Meredith got a tampon stuck in her pussy. This is high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Meredith. You know, Meredith got a, and she did apparently. I don't know, but but, but I remember a kid <laughs> running. A kid sprinted up to our group. We are in ninth or tenth grade, and he goes, Meredith got a tampon stuck in her pussy. And then he ran away to tell <laughs> he, he, like like there. I, I think it's the same thing. I, I think, and yeah. I think when people hear it, they're like, "Hey, did you hear about the pussy? Did you hear about it? she got she she just kept putting them up there. Twelve, twelve of them, and her right now she's about to be turned inside out, turned to sand. She's got toxic shock syndrome. Her mom had to come pull it out. They used it. The, <laughs> no, the lunch. I heard the lunch lady used tongs. No, I heard they had to call the fire department. Use the jaws of life. But it wasn't <laughs> like I made it up. It it's every Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, we know you make it about up. It. Yeah, Jimmy like, Kimmel hates oh, him. Jimmy Kimmel hates him. Truth. Not a reliable source. I hear you. I hear you. Like I get it. It's well, the left comedian. news who's talking about this. Yeah, but I it is use... also like everywhere. And that, that's because the news is overwhelmingly left. Like you can look at like like they self-reported in pre- previous election cycles. Like employees at CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, NBC, CBS. Like where do the employees of these organizations donate? And it's like ninety-five five to ninety-five percent of Fox employees donate to the left. The maj- it was even like almost a plurality of Fox people. I'm saying like media all aggregate like aggregate was like over ninety-five five Democrat to Republican. And so like when I see the Trump and I agree. I'm, I'm watching the video. It doesn't look like Biden pooped his pants, but like the idea that like oh, there's a bunch of crazy propaganda saying Biden pooped his pants when just like a few weeks ago there were mainstream media propagandists being like Trump has stinky poo poo farts and he farted <laughs> himself awake and soon we're gonna have the clips of him getting peed on and this porn star who we paid off says he has a a, a weird dick and uh, and he drinks water funny. And he said the N word, Taylor. Bought, we have it on tape. We have We've had it on tape. on tape. It's been on yeah. tape for the last 22 years. And, and it's never showed up. Yeah, true. I know, I know, I know. I didn't run with the tape thing. The dick thing, I've never said more. I don't know what's same. true. I know Stormy Daniels made fun of his dick right after he called her a horse face. So mm-hmm. I took that to be just 
childish back and forth, you know, mm, that's sure. not necessarily accurate reporting on he Trump's dick. It. He does have small hands. That's true. But it was reported you on. Think small? Yeah, he put his hands in the wax museum and they said he's in the bottom 15th percentile. No, Who he's did? a big guy though, right? If you're that big, as, you have like How tall do you think Trump small. is? Like six, <laughs> two, six, six three? three? Uh, yeah. Probably six, one. Probably six one. I think he's six guess. one because he stood next to Obama, who's six one, and they're the same height. He towers over Joe no Rogan. Way. I won't hear this. That's he true. does tower Joe over Joe Rogan. 11. Yeah, he's six three according to Google, which is always that is, right. Yeah, uh, look I, for yeah. a picture of him next to Obama. He like uh, they've be they've worked this out. I don't know if you've ever seen like the stuff that goes down on 4chan and Reddit, where where they'll be they'll take <laughs> next to Baron. They'll they'll take like the a door frame and the like known quantities. Like, well, this. This doorknob is exactly three feet and eight inches from here. So now we have a ruler that's three foot eight. Now let's just slide it up and, and they can mm -hmm. get the exact measurements of things. I don't need six, three. I certainly don't. I doubt he's six, two. It's, it's a rare thing to be that tall. And he just doesn't look that tall. And he's got the, them big old business shoes on. I just don't care, though. Like, I don't he wears care the how heels. Tall. Yeah. And, and the, I, as long as he's not short. I don't even like when people are like, you know, he says he's this and he says he's that. Like, yeah. That's his thing. His thing is that he's a huckster. He's a he's a he's a he's a huckster. He's a he's a um who's the guy that had this? It's not Barnum, Barnum and Bailey. Oh, no, okay. Barnum and Bailey. That's that's the yeah. circus. That sounds people, right, right. But who you got? Who had for? the sign that said egress? Um, come view the egress this way. Oh, and fuck, people I don't know. And, and nobody had the vocabulary to know that an egress is an exit. And so there are it's to get oh. them out of his place faster. It might be Ripley's believe it or not, or so, and maybe we'll go to see come see the fascinating egress, and they'd be like, Ooh, through this door, huh? and they it clocks just behind them. Out. <laughs> They're outside. It was a way of like getting people through the place so they wouldn't hang out. Was that Barnum and Bailey? Okay. He's that guy. So when he says that he's like, oh, look at these hands. You think these hands are I, I remember Marco called him out on the small mm -hmm. hands, and then he brought it, he called out my hands. No one's ever hit my hands before. Look at these. These look small to you. And he also said, if the hands are small, then uh, something else might be small. Let me tell them. you, there's oh, yeah. no problem there. I guarantee. <laughs> and it's like, then that man became the president of the United States like eight months later. <laughs> yeah, it's a good policy. <laughs> but you behind, policy. like the faces of the people behind him during that moment was exactly why he won. They were like, He's going there, and it's funny. Look at it. He's going there. And, and if you could say one thing about Trump that I do love is that he will go there. He won't dance around something. He'll just go there and say the awful, Did you see him on the Epstein files? Thing. Of did course I did. Yeah. 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 I, I'm on Reddit, so I heard it. He was... They were like, Mr. President, will you declassify the JFK stuff? Absolutely. We need to know the truth. We declassify... Maybe aliens? Yeah, uh, let's get the truth out there. Uh, you know, I always 9 11 was the other one. Oh, 9 11? Yeah, let's get the truth out there. Let's what about the Epstein files? Well, maybe not all, because you wouldn't want to, like, there's a lot of lies in there. You could ruin people's lives. There's you know? people alive today that could be impacted by that sort of thing. <laughs> you know, I don't, he didn't dance around as much and, like, as yeah. much as I am, but, like, he very quickly was like, eh, that less so. Because there are people alive who could be affected if, but by the fake stuff that might be in there. That's right. I'm like ninety five. This is the guy who championed now. the birther theory, right? Who doesn't want lies to impact people's lives. Uh, I had another one and I lost it, but yeah, th this guy is like beating ah the birther. And look, I, if we get two out of three, that's not bad, Woody. Though nine eleven and uh, and JFK. Look, look I'm we'll like say you were already mean, president. You can't tell me what you would do if you were president when you didn't do it. Like yeah, he could have just snapped his fingers and released these things. I mean, already. he's doing that right now, and he might get elected. Have you guys made like official election predictions? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. bets on it. So far, I'm not doing well. I, I, I predict that Trump will not win. Kyle mm -hmm. thinks that Trump will win, and I think I Woody Trump, also said like, he won't. Right? I think Trump I was, before he announced. Yeah, so Kyle and I bet. Is it a hundred each on each I bet? I think I think I, so. I, think right? so. Maybe I don't each, I don't remember exactly. A hundred each bet. The first one I'm sure to lose. I didn't think Trump would win the primary at the time. It just seemed like there's Trump, and then there's like 19 other people. Well, shit, I'll take the 19. You know, I I'll bet that I the feel Chiefs like, lose next year just because I get 31 teams or whatever I, it is. I just feel like the other Republicans are so unmemorable. Like apart from that Vivek guy, and even he, like he doesn't. Turns out you're right. Yeah, <laughs> and then the yes. other bet was I thought I'm with Trump you on the would Vivek. lose. I like Vivek. Like like. Whenever I bring Vivek up to liberal friends of mine in the real world, I'm like, I ask, like, what don't you like about Vivek? Oh, I, 
he's he's a brown person who hates brown people. That rubs me the wrong way. And it's like, man, I y'all are supposed to be. Whenever I see somebody to the left acting like people from the right are ignorant about something, it's it. it it's that. It, it's that recouching ex- what Vivek is about is that is so absurd to me. It's like I think he's just against people like invading a country. Like I don't think Vivek was an illegal immigrant. He probably uh, filled Vivek. out some paperwork. I didn't like that Vivek wanted to raise the voting age to twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. To me, to to me, when they throw those out, make there, it fifty men only. Boom. Hmm. 25 is bullshit. You ever hear Jesse Ventura talk about this? You, you might have seen it recently because the algorithm. I have some it. interesting ideas about voting in our great nation. He has excellent ideas about not not, not necessarily ideas, but um, perspective. He talks about coming back from Vietnam and not mm-hmm. being able to buy a beer or vote. He's, yeah. he's, when did he go I, to Vietnam? At like 18? Yeah, that's really <laughs> <a lot>. 16? <laughs> I, I think at the time the voting age was higher. Uh, it was 21 at one point yeah yeah so he comes he comes back and he's 19 or 20 and he's getting hassled by some small town maybe a cop uh, and and, you know call him a boy and saying it because he wanted to buy a beer and he's like i just came back from now i have ptsd Mm. now i'm just trying to have a brewski with my friends and he's telling me not only can't i vote but i can't and it's just like yeah and anybody's problem is he looks like a maniac sitting there in that chair because he refuses to he grows his hair long and he has very little hair <laughs> yeah when, when Jim Norton says he's like get out of here with your fucking rocky horror hairdo <laughs> <laughs> Jim Norton ate him alive